All right, so I'm bidding some parts today on my homemade press brake. Um, if you haven't seen this, um, I did a video um, a little while back on it. Um, real quick, it's an eight foot wide, um, approximately 60 ton homemade press brake I built a while back. Um, somebody uh, hit me up needing these pieces of rebar bent 90 degrees. Um, you know, and there's a specific called out minimum radius for rebar. Um, so I had to look that up. And this is a homemade die I made to do it. So this top piece, is, piece of round stock um, meets the requirements for the radius. And then these two, th this one's cinched down tight so it doesn't move. And then these two are loose enough to, to be able to roll as it as it draws the uh, the rebar down in there. And then I've got these uh, adjustable backstops. So this is set to give the, uh, the leg length there. So a lot of times when I'm doing something one off or weird like this, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have a huge selection of, of tooling for this thing yet. Um, slowly over time building my, my collection. It's, this stuff's pretty expensive. Um, so yeah, I, uh, drew this up in the uh, CAD and whipped it up and, you know, luckily it seemed to work pretty, pretty right on the money first try. Um, typically, well, for this project, basically what I did is I drew out, I drew the angle, I mean, not the angle, I drew the rebar, how it needed to be basically in the computer sitting, you know, at a 45 like this, and then basically filled in the gaps, um, with the support down here on the bottom and then the, uh, the punch on top. I'll throw a piece. I've got one piece left to do. So this will be loud when it's running. But I will. Let me get it set here. Actually, it helps if you plug it in. Basically load it in there, run it back till it hits that stop. This press brake's fairly slow, especially for a bend like this, with this wide of a, of a bottom V die. It takes a lot of punch movement um, but that's what it took to get the proper radius. Hopefully you can hear me, the air compressor kicked on. Uh, but I've got the, uh, the stop set to get this um, to come out to 90 degrees. It overbends it by a little bit because there's some spring back. As you can see, nice and accurate they all come out the same 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 leg length and angle but 
That's it. I'm gonna go uh, kill the compressor. So basically, I just wanted to show that uh, you know, with a little ingenuity and a and a little bit of time, custom tooling can be pretty easily made to do you know, all kinds of different stuff. Um, this isn't like, you know, super professional grade or whatever, but um, that rebar is pretty hard and it, it does dent these, dent these up a little bit, but these are replaceable. So even if I were to use this in a pretty constant basis, probably every four or 500 pieces, I, I might have to change these or uh, clean them up. Um, yep, that's that. Just figured I'd share my, my latest, uh, tooling I built. I'm actually, uh, I've been dreaming up a similar setup for a while that I haven't built yet, but I want to do a setup that's got, um, bearings or uh, rollers like this but actually on bearings and then do a, uh, a powered top roll. Um, similar to like the tubing rollers you can buy um, for, for putting an, uh, a long arc in tubing. Um, but I'd like to do it in the press brake. That way I've got very uh, controlled and, and consistent repeatability. Um, I could bring it down. Um, I would power this with a, uh, an electric um, pipe tapping machine. So then you could run your tubing back and forth, you know, and come down little bits at a time, but it would stop at exactly the same spot. So if you were doing multiple, multiple rolls, they would all come out um, very consistent. Um, I have like one of those cheap Harbor Freight ones, pipe rollers, and it's hard to make the pieces come out exactly the same because it just has like a jack screw that you turn to adjust the depth. Um, and there's not like any really great places to measure on or, um, I don't know, basically get a consistent adjustment every time. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, you know, reach out if you got any questions or, uh, or comments or whatever. Thanks.